Whenever something wants to happen, two things play out. Either you're anxious, anxiety, you're depressed, frustrated. Now that schools are reopening, the issue of school fees, how do we meet up, who pays what, how much, how do we get the money? On this segment today, we're looking at the unusual today. We do the hard side, but today we're looking at the unusual, but it's a very serious issue, depression. How do we walk away from it? This is the simplest story of the depression mode on ongoing in several lives. This is a literature. They wonder how things begin with just an unpleasant mode and before too long become an experience of low energy, emotional downturn, mood disorders, low excitements, altering actions and coloring the mind with unpleasant, pulsating thoughts and feelings of failure, hate, disappointment and inadequacies. Vice versa, a boss, a head of department, a line staff leaves home depressed. You can imagine what happens in the office that day. If it is the boss, everything turns upside down. If it's the line staff, no matter the directives you give, nothing works. Even depression can affect the result in public governance. The boss gets to office excited and at the day ends, he gets depressed. Across board, what happens at home? Depression, how do you walk away from it? My guests, Fuyeke Ayongade, Mrs. Behavioral Therapist. Good to have you on Insight. Thank you for bringing me here. And uh, James Kola Molafe, Behavioral Therapist and Psychotherapist. Good to welcome you on Insight. Great to be here, Odia. Okay. Now, let me start with you, James. <coughs> as much as I'm not trying to be gender biased here. No problem, <laughs> about that. When would I say I'm depressed? Wow, that's a good question there. Depression is far more witty than we say it. You are depressed when you cannot manage a situation around you that is causing you to be sad, unhappy, and is beginning to turn towards a low mood. You see yourself not happy again, and your mood is just down, and uh, when those things continue for a period of, say, two weeks, unsustainably, then you are beginning to slump from sadness, unhappiness, into depression. Because in that situation, your responsibility quotient is affected and impacted. And what is responsibility quotient in the 21st century? We look at your ability, who you, what you have, and do. <clears throat> sorry, what you, what you do, what you have for ability is affected. Activity, what you do, is also affected negatively, and then the reality around you, whether inside or outside, is affected. So when these three variables are out of harmony with your personality, you are depressed. Because instead of being in charge of your ability, activity, and reality, they begin to dictate to you, and you follow suit. So that's depression. Hook, line, and sink. When you say they dictate to you and you follow suit, how do you mean? Yes. As free moral agents, human beings, you are in charge of every circumstance and situation, at least within you and around you. So when you begin to lose coordination of those issues that are around you, every day we face the good, the bad, and the ugly in our daily vibration, in all we do, the way we feel, the way we think, and all of that. So you cannot prevent a bird flying across your head. But when the bird begins to nest on your head, then you can prevent that. So when you, are f you find yourself in such a situation where you are no longer in charge of your thoughts, and your thoughts are beginning to take hold of you, 
hook, line, and sinker without you being able to control what filter through and what filters out, then you are depressed because you become zombied to your imaginations, to your feelings, to what is going on in your mind helplessly. Okay. And if care is not taken, you can begin to have a sense of worthlessness. You can begin to feel as if you are hopeless. You can begin to misinterpret issues and events around you. That's depression at work. Okay. In the context of code of conduct and ethics in the public service, when I, what I mean is the civil service cutting across all the divide, can depression affect work output? Yes, it can. Because I remember that um, <clears throat> most civil servants are human beings too. All civil servants are human beings. And uh, if you are, you are depressed and uh, you come to the office, the code of ethics is that you should be disciplined, you should be loyal, you should be truthful to... From the boss right from, down. From the boss right okay. to the... Down. down. From the boss right to the, la, no, the, the lower strata of the civil service. If you come in depressed, even when your boss, if you are at the lower strata, we ask you to go and do something, you begin to, your conduct begins to affect your output. And you, are no, you will no longer be as you know, zealous to do your work as you're supposed to do it. Your passion even diminishes. Your passion de you know, depreciates. And you begin to, to look at everything around you as if everything is working against me. Why should I even help mm. people? That's why when you come to the civil service and you enter an office, sometimes you just find out that you have met, if you have met with a depressed clerk that's at the front desk, even you asking a question, you will know that something is actually wrong with this person mm. because he will not give you, he will not, he will, he will not attend to you the way he's supposed to attend to you. Before you know it, from there, he, because you have come in, you want to, to avail yourself of the opportunity of that place. Immediately that clerk, receives you in a very unpleasant way, you will begin to wonder what is, what is eating you up. Do you understand? And meanwhile, you have had, maybe you, have, you just want to see the boss. Mm. By the time you enter, he has already given you a bad impression, impression about the office. Mm. So when you enter there, you will not give a good, you will not have a good impression of that office. Mm -hmm. And if the boss that you want to see, you will always know that I want to tell this man something mm -hmm. about that man outside, isn't it? And before you know it, from there, the, 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 the boss can call the boy, and he, he or she, the, the, the officer can begin to, to mess up the whole, you know, uh, essence of the place. There's a clinical effect. That and before you know everything. it, it begins to, from mm -hmm. the secretary to, the, yeah, it, it becomes a bad egg. Okay. Uh, Depression is so that how that do we how do we surmount this? I, I believe that if the federal civil service can begin to introduce, we do skill enhancement, we do uh, workshops mm -hmm. and seminars, and leave out, and leave and out depression and all, that all those so things to our that lives. To our lives. Yeah. You know, apart from the public service rules that we read, there are so many it, most of us read it to pass so. because we want to be promoted. That are not involved. But you are, it, we, the culture is not being inculcated in us. Mm. You are just doing it for the sake of promotion. Okay. Actually, Let me get your of, thoughts. actually, some of those curriculums should be tilted towards the reality on ground. For example, every civil servant or any man you meet anywhere in the world. It's all about the civil service. What about the, the, the private civil, sector? The private, the private sector. sector. Yes, sector. Every happens. man everywhere is either in definition, the good. When the mood is good, the circumstances are okay, okay. everything yes. is he, in his good self. So there are issues we need to pull out from that uh, specimen. And then 
every man also could tilt towards the bad. That is the violation. So most times, and it's not necessarily that uh, we, don't, we, don't have, we don't have capacity to deliver in public office, but maybe yes. at a particular Your time, at the matters. nick of time, the mood determines yes. what happens. Yes. Okay, now, th this literature is called Depression, recognizing the stages and walking away from it, yes. which we have used to encapsulate on the title yes. of the issue. And as much as time will allow, we have here depression and the marriage of convenience. Yes. The manifestation and stages of depression, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how like to attain freedom from depression, yes. how to achieve solution to depression, yeah. how depression lobbies its victims, mm. depression cycle assessment tests, yes. interpreting six clusters of depression cycle. Mm. Let me start with the six clusters from Madam. Yeah. If I go to uh, the issue of lobbying the victim, what yes. are the six cycles, Madam? The you can, you can consider. Yeah. We, we, the six uh, cycles. Is this clusters? We, 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 clusters. We we'll talk about the the over. Is the, it? The, the, you can, the first can refer one, to the book. The first one is the superlative cluster. When you are just okay. Okay, let her go ahead. Yes. Okay. She's on the floor. Yes. When you are okay, that is at that time you don't even allow anything to get you. Inside out, you are just okay. You are okay. You know that you're okay. You don't allow the situations around you to even move you. There are people like that. Mm. And there are no seeds of depression no seeds inside, of you. inside you. That's the superlative cluster. That is the cluster. superlative cluster. But the, there should be caution anyway. Mm. Don't entertain negative thoughts. Even when they come, Even when just they come, ignore. You ignore Look, it. Look, let, let, let her finish, then I'll come to you. <laughs> okay, go ahead. When the thoughts come, you know, it's like when a water is flowing. You know, if you have like foam here and a tap is being released, if you allow the water to enter into the foam, you know, it will just be sinking. That's how it comes. So when you allow negative thoughts to control you, it will enter into that foam and it will overtake it. Before you know it, there will be an overflow, isn't it? That's how depression is. It comes in, in trickles. And before you know it, 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 it will take you over. But the receptive cluster, that's the second cluster of depression management outcome. The individual is open, accessible, and approachable. To depression. To depression. You know, it's like you are inviting a visitor in. And you, and you are smiling at it. You are even welcoming it. OK. <laughs> when you welcome it. What happens? You become you become friends with that person, isn't it? Before the person knows what is happening, it's like when you are dangling a carrot, and the person looks at it and collects it. What happens? You begin to eat it. Okay. To, to, today's insight is really going to be very. very I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of guests will be imagining today. We have, we have our metrics to check on all, all that. Mm -hmm. So let me go to James now. Yeah. Okay. When you say how depression lobbies eight victims, yeah. how do you mean? Wow. Depression <coughs> seeks for a marriage of convenience. And you know, in marriage of convenience, you are looking for what is yours, I'm looking for what is mine. I will feel marriage will be a grant to getting our various ends. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily because we, we want to get married in the right sense of it. That is how depression works, clinical depression. There are some certain depression that happen based on ecology, family, history, and all of that. That's not the one we are talking about. But depression out of stress, one breaking his own behavioral bounds and protocol, seeks for marriage of convenience and goes through the process of lobbying, trying to convince you with facts and figures around your life where you have to be depressed. And by the time you begin to buy into such feelings, emotions, and thoughts that things are not working well, oh, Nigeria is bad, we have bad leadership, <laughs> and you begin to allude by the reason of what is happening around you, then that is lobby from depression. And once it sinks into you, 
your emotion becomes dull. That's why, you see, on the surface, you could still be smiling. But inside, once it begins to afflict your passion and your emotion, and you are beginning to sense some level of dullness, that is a potential depression, looking for a trigger, either within or external, in order to strike. So many people are working about in the workplace, at homes, private and corporate organizations, who already have contamination from seeds of depression. Once there is that dull uh, moment inside you when you think about issues and you cannot help it, it stays there. You could still smile on the outside. Mm -hmm. So depression seeks a marriage of convenience, and he wants to lobby you, convince you, giving reasonable and unreasonable doubt why you should just be a friend. Okay. That's why the level of permission determines the degree of culpability yes. or vulnerability. Mm. Okay, let me Permit come it, to it let me, comes to you. Let me come to Foyeke now. It means nobody stands aloof when it comes to depression, right? No. We fall into it we all every targets. now and then. We are all targets. Okay, beautiful. Now, in case Nigerians out there, we have a lot who, who may not even know that they are depressed. They are not, they are because these days, we, somebody goes to sleep and never wakes up. Mm -hmm. Somebody sits down, yay, they rush into the hospital mm -hmm. or her, dies. dies yes. What way forward? Let me start with you before I go to James. Okay. The moment you see that you are no longer in control of your thoughts, your thoughts are now controlling you negatively. You begin to, your self-worth is being eroded. You, within you, when you are depressed, you f there, is, there, is, there, is a, there is a vacuum. You will feel it. You know that this is not the real me. The problem that we have is that we don't want another person to know what is going on in your mind. But the moment you allow people to know, they will come to your aid. Especially if you, you know, is, uh, behavioral therapy is, you know, is a new wave. Yeah. And if you are able to know, that's why we are coming on air, so that people will know that there's a place called Saba Resources. It won't take you anything. Just avail yourself we to the opportunity that you can come out of it. What we are saying is that the rate at which people are committing suicide these days is becoming Almost. too much. So the people, students, children, parents, no matter your age, you can fall into depression anytime. But the best bet is for you to get a therapist. Okay. A professional. Let me a go to James now. What kind of services do you render? Are you a team or you're separated? Let me know now. We are from the School of Articulation and Behavioral Alignment Resources, also known as SABA Resources, which is a hub for the virile health, full expression for optimal productivity. So we check incidences of violation to personal lives. We look at depression and how to walk away from it, just as we're here now. And we show the society, the organized private sector and the public sector that say, hey, don't wait until the chips mm -hmm. are down. Let's go preventive. That's why in the cyber resources, we also create some level up assessment test that will, put, that will spot on, pull you out from where you are to where you are supposed to be. We correct incidences. Do you render services to institutions like the yes. NTA? Maybe in fact, ministries? we are in various companies, organizations, uh, public sector, and we're even domiciling some of these competencies there so that if the federal government can look at this and see the merit have you done one with an NTA before no we no. haven't secured an entrance mm -hmm. except now so that we can domicile it in all hr across nigeria and solve our problems with an african initiative this is an initiative 
giving to the whole world that now you can now classify and cluster depression and know the various stages before they strike. And then with our simple therapies and assessment, preventive, we can help you pull out from whatever stage. And you see, depression begins from overdue, stage one, and terminate lives at overthrow. And that's why overdue, overthrow. 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 Everything is over, 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 over. 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 So the higher you go in those stages, the deeper into the valley of depression. So what you're trying to say now is if I overdo, if you overdo, if I get to overthrow, you would have brought me down. It will have brought yeah, you exactly. down, you are closer. Exactly. And that's why a little trigger nowadays, you hear of relationship uh, lapses, and then just frustration, or salary not coming on time, and you wonder, why will you commit suicide? The stages are already ongoing what? on the internet. So how can you be reached? Uh, James Wan, K O M at yahoo.com. But well, you are you. available, right? Yes, we are available. available. James, come on, laugh. Okay. Just Google out James, come on, laugh. Okay. Okay. We've so, had so, so, very last words to Madam, because we don't have all the time. Okay. What last word do you have for Nigerians over depression? Just a few words. Over depression, I want them to know that the negatives are developed in the dark room. Mm. So, also are your negative thoughts being developed. If you don't take appropriate step, just as positive thought can take you to this Christ creeper, so also can negative thought sink a whole lot of ship that is overloaded. Okay. So don't allow it. Go out there and seek for help. Okay. Last word? Yes. A veritable competency there for Nigeria and Africa. When you reach us, we'll send you this for free so that you can learn how to master and marshal out your thoughts, your feelings, and emotion. Don't wait until depression strikes before you know what to do. And we're appealing to the federal government. Let's solve our problems using what we have. This book, we're ready to send it. If you request for it, depression, recognizing the stages, and walking away from, from it. it. The Saba resources is out for you to treat incidences of depression from the non-drug approaches. Let's get our curricula reorganized. Thank you so much. Let's include depression. I can be sure that uh, even if we have four hours, we'll not be done with this. <laughs> yes. Well, like I said, yeah. as much as time could allow, maybe we'll have cause to we invite you again to talk more because Definitely depression is endless. Mm. Okay, well, for your care, I, I young Gade, Mrs. To start having your insight. Thank you. And uh, James Komolafe. Thank you so much. Thank you so Good much. To be here. Thank you. Well, depression is everybody's. Nobody's an exception. And from what they have said, it cues you into a good day or a bad day. That's done on this segment of the program. Up next on Insight is the interview segment. Don't go away.